This problem is similar to number 31 on page 386. And in your book, it's got these all marked as being the same size. I couldn't figure out how to do that with PowerPoint, so I didn't mark them. But they're all, it's a regular hexagon, or in your case, it's not a hexagon. But the point is that it's regular. Okay? So basically what you want to do first is find out how big these angles are. And once you know how big those angles are, you can figure this one out right here. So in my case, this is a hexagon, which means that it has four triangles. So four triangles times 180 degrees is going to be 720. So that's how many degrees this entire hexagon has. Since there's six angles and they're all exactly the same, I'm going to do 720 divided by 6, and I'm going to end up with 120 degrees. So that means that each of these angles here are 120 degrees, and I'm going to mark that in so you see. There we go. Okay. But we're not interested really in the inside angles. We want to know this one, right? So if you notice, this is a line right here, and these two angles make that line. That makes them a linear pair. And you remember that lines have 180 degrees. So whatever this angle right here is, it's got to add to this one to make 180 degrees. So in my case, it's going to be 180 minus 120 is 60. This x has to be 60 degrees, and that's the only way that you would have a line right here. So your answer would be 60.